Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Mbom Armored Personnel Carrier originated from Paramount Group, a South African company with extensive expertise in developing and manufacturing various mine-resistant vehicles. Named after a renowned African warrior, the Mbom was unveiled in 2010, with reports indicating its production for the South African National Defense Forces and potential export to other countries. Jordan's procurement of 50 units in 2014, some of which were deployed in Libya, marked a significant milestone. Kazakhstan also ordered a batch of these vehicles, referred to locally as Barris, with plans for local assembly. This versatile armored vehicle caters to a wide spectrum of military operations, encompassing conventional warfare, peacekeeping, and counterinsurgency endeavors. While officially classified as an infantry fighting vehicle, IFV, it predominantly serves as a robust armored personnel carrier, APC, or mine-resistant ambush protected vehicle, MRAP. However, it lacks the protection against automatic cannons that many modern IFVs offer. The baseline configuration of the bomb ensures protection against 7.62mm armor-piercing rounds, with the option for additional modular armor to withstand 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. It also claims defense against RPG-7 anti-tank rockets. Its design features a unique flat-bottomed hull, enhancing mine and eye blast protection comparable to MRAP vehicles, albeit without the traditional V-shaped hull. This innovation reduces the vehicle's height, presenting a smaller target profile. Moreover, it can withstand significant explosive blasts, including 10 kg TNT beneath any wheel or under the hull, and even larger explosions equivalent to 14 kg TNT. The vehicle's resilience against landmines and IED surpasses many NATO vehicles. The initial model is equipped with a turret housing a Russian 30mm dual-fed cannon and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, akin to those found on BMP-2 IFVs and other Russian armored vehicles. Alternatively, various manned or remotely operated turrets can be installed. With a crew of three and space for eight troops, the bomb facilitates entry and exit via a rear ramp, with roof hatches available for emergency evacuation. Powered by a turbocharged diesel engine generating 450 horsepower and paired with a six-speed automatic transmission, the vehicle employs commercial automotive components to minimize production and operating costs. Its three-axle configuration and independent suspension ensure excellent cross-country performance, while additional features like a central tire inflation system enhance adaptability. The vehicle's operational capabilities extend to extreme climates, with the ability to operate in temperatures up to plus 55 degrees Celsius. Proposed variants of the bomb include configurations such as an armored personnel carrier, wheeled infantry fighting vehicle, anti-tank missile carrier, mortar carrier, ambulance, and command post vehicle. Variants. The Kazakh adaptation, known as Barris, entered production in Kazakhstan in 2015 and achieved mass production in 2021 under Kazakhstan Paramount Engineering. Azerbaijan has shown interest in acquiring Barris armored vehicles. The Jordanian variant, Alfairs, was announced in 2016, with a production contract signed between Paramount Group and Jordan Manufacturing Services Solutions. 50 vehicles were slated for delivery, with 25 originating from South Africa and 25 assembled in Jordan. Notably, these Jordanian vehicles were deployed in Libya. That's all for now. See you later.